Hey guys, so Tanner from Lazy Gaming. In this video, I will be reviewing the MX4 in Battlefield Hardline on the PlayStation 4. Before getting this video, just like say if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe down below for much more content on everything Battlefield Hardline. And this is a console review. Um, I'm about to go on a school break or like spring break. And once I get back, I'll probably start reviewing some of the guns on PC. I don't want to do it right now because I feel like Visceral might change around a lot of the PC stuff just because of the outspoken frustration from most of the community about the time to kill changes. So if they change it back, I don't want to do a review and have it like that. And also not to mention the fact that I can't afford the MX4 on PC quite yet because I don't have too much cash. Now let's get right into the stats of this gun. It does 25 max damage out until 25 meters, giving it a 4 shot kill out until that range. Once it hits that drop off, it'll drop off down to 12 minimum damage at 35 meters. So it does have an extremely quick drop off. And while at 25 meters, you're getting a 4 shot kill. Once you get to the 35 meters, it'll be a 9 shot kill, which is absolutely terrible. Has a average rate of fire of 750 rounds per minute, which isn't too great, but it's not terrible either. I mean, for a weapon of this damage, I really expected something around 800 or 850. It's not something to complain about too much. As a 420 meters per second muzzle velocity, again, average, nothing to really brag about with this weapon. A reload of 2.3 seconds, which is, again, average, and that's really a theme for this gun. It's a pretty average weapon. I mean, I personally like it just because of the Battlefield 4 nostalgic feel, but the empty reload is 3.3 seconds, which is long, actually, and not too great. So the main upside to this weapon is its 4 shot range, which is out until 25 meters, which for an SMG is actually surprisingly good. Yet the downfalls of this weapon are the bad minimum damage, the fairly slow rate of fire, the bad muzzle velocity, and the not too great reload. I mean, honestly the fire is good, but you kind of expect that as a standard from submachine guns, and you don't really expect anything else. I mean, it's just a given that a submachine gun will have good hit fire, you don't really need to ask for it, or it's more like you're shocked when it has bad hit fire, and this gun just isn't that great, I mean, ultimately it's not a very great weapon, it is just an average gun, I mean, if you're feeling like switching it up, if you want to get gold for a gun that you haven't really used, or if you just want a new weapon to sort of switch it up, I'd recommend using this gun obviously, but there aren't too many benefits to the weapon other than the fact is just average and it's sort of okay at everything but it doesn't really excel in one area specifically um, while the same can be said for PC actually to be completely honest I've looked at the stats on PC and yeah it's a pretty average gun on PC but wait for that review when it should come out in a couple weeks um, subscribe if you are new here for much more content on everything Battlefield Hardline and much more content on everything in the Betrayal DLC but that's what it for this video guys thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.